Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about 10 eyeshadow palettes that you would need to use this fall. So if you want to see what my picks are this time around, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And for today's video, I do this every season. I dig through my collection and I pick out 10 eyeshadow palettes that remind me of the season that I want to use more this upcoming fall. Of course, every season you're not limited to what colors you can wear, but I really do think it is fun to pull aside some fall themed palettes and make an effort to use those especially for those of us who have larger collections this is a great opportunity to pull out palettes that maybe you haven't used in quite some time and put a focus into them for the season so literally these 10 eyeshadow palettes that I picked are 10 that I'm going to make an effort to use this season I just got a new palette organizer I'm going to put these on my palette organizers and if I'm ever not sure what palette I want to use I will dig from this selection when I do these videos I like to pick old palettes, new palettes, expensive palettes, affordable palettes. I like to have a, quite a large range in this video. I hope that this encourages you to pull out some of your palettes that you haven't used in a while for this upcoming season. Now as far as the color stories that I'm into for this fall, definitely a little bit more grungy tones. If you check out last year's video, you'll see I was more into bronzy tones, lots of oranges and warm shades, so if you're into those for this fall, I would definitely recommend checking that out last year's video. I will put it in the description box. But if you're into more grungy tones like me, and I also still have some warmer tones in here, this might be the video for you. So these palettes are in no particular order, just alphabetical from the brand. So we're going to start off with the first palette that I have, which is by ABH. This is an older palette. I believe this has been reformulated but I still have the OG but I really think that this is a beautiful color story for this fall and that is going to be the ABH subculture palette if you were on YouTube a few years ago this was very controversial because everybody loved ABH palettes and this quality was supposed to be horrific and while it's not good I still find it to be workable and I know how to work with eyeshadows that are very loosely packed like this I believe they've reformulated like I said however this color story does that not scream grungy fall to you I haven't used this palette in such a long time so I wanted to pull this out and use it this fall since I'm really into these types of tones this time around it still has those warm tones as well I love the khakis the shimmers in here allow for bronze I don't it's just a really fantastic color story for this upcoming season and while it might not be the most amazing palette quality wise I will definitely do what I can to work with this because you can get such interesting looks with this palette the hype over this or whatever the opposite of hype and while the negative hype of this has died down I'm bringing it back for this fall because I think it still has a great color story regardless though I don't necessarily recommend you buy it but if you have it pull it out the second palette that I have to talk about is a newer palette this came out this year and it's leaning more on the orangey bronzy tones that I was into last year but I definitely want to use it more often and that is the Artist Couture Supreme Bronze Palette. This is a lot warmer than the popular one that came out before this, the Supreme Nudes. And I looked at that one. That one definitely is a lot more neutral. And this can play very neutral as well but you have a lot of these really warm pops that can transform this look into something really bronzy and warm. And these kind of golds with oranges remind me a lot of Thanksgiving so these are the types of looks I tend to wear towards the November time of year. The quality on this is really great. It's very versatile so I definitely want to use this more in the upcoming season. And if you pick this up, I recommend that you use it too. Though this is a great palette that's going to work all year round because the tones are so neutral. But because these have those orange pops, it really reminded me to pull this out for the fall. Number three, kind of old. Hope you haven't forgotten about it because it's still not that old. And that is the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie collaboration. This is the At Forest Sight palette. I wasn't the craziest about this palette. I don't know. 
Me and Christy's color stories, I feel like, don't align. I wasn't as big of a fan of her pure color story either. However, if we're speaking grungy tones for fall, this is perfect. I found this palette to be a little bit harder to work with. It didn't speak to me. But now that I'm a little bit more into grungy tones, I think I'm turning that around because I can see so many looks that I want to do with this this upcoming season. Again, you still have these warm options, but you also have these more deep jewel-toned options that I think are going to be really fun to play with as well. So if you picked this up, this is a great time of year to use it. And I don't know, the tones in here are very interesting. I really don't feel like there's a lot of palettes out there that have a color story like this so she did a great job in that regard and I'm excited to see what other looks I can come up with when it comes to this palette it really is screaming fall to me when I was brainstorming palettes that I wanted to be in this video this one didn't come to mind but as I was digging through my palette drawer I was like this is perfect this is gonna fit in well with this video and I'm gonna use it more. The fourth palette that I have came out, I think around the summertime, early summer. This is the Huda Beauty Caramel Brown Palette. This is a very, very warm palette and when I first got this, this definitely reminded me of fall, especially with the packaging. That's just a start and then when you open it up, I mean, it's a pure orange palette and I can't think of a better time to wear it between the transition of summer and fall. Like right now, today, this is a great color story to put on my eyeballs. I mean, you can have that great, warm, bronzy, fiery eye in the summer, and then it transitions over well to fall. And the quality on this isn't spectacular, but it still is really nice. It's still workable. It's quite a user-friendly palette, just not hood as best. But I mean, it screams turkeys and leaves and pumpkin spice, does it not? Moving on to number five. This one is kind of different than the other palettes that I'm mentioning. It reminds me of Halloween, so I think that's why I'm pulling it out for today's video. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette. I love this palette. I don't use it as often as I should. You can see why I thought of it for a fall palette because it really is those Halloween kind of vibes. Everything from the packaging is so pretty and the color story is very interesting. It's more cooler toned. We have more neutral tones in the middle, blues on the bottom, purples on the top. So this is different than any other palette that I'm featuring in today's video and it's more so the packaging that's making me want to pull it out this fall but I still think you can do some really fun looks with this. This allows you to play with color while also keeping it neutral. So if you have this palette, pull it out. I don't believe they sell this anymore. I will double check on that, but it's a beautiful palette nonetheless. The looks you can get, absolutely stunning. I'm really excited for this palette. I think, you know, once I start digging into these 10 to wear off camera, this is probably one of the first ones that I'm going to want to dig into. Number six, we have a retired Natasha Denona palette, one that I haven't spoken of for a very long time. And again, something a little bit more controversial, if you will, but I personally liked it. I didn't have trouble with it. I enjoy this palette and I think it has those grungier tones that I'm enjoying right now. This is the Natasha Denona Safari palette. This is an all matte palette and I love Natasha Denona's mattes. And what I love about this is the different kind of tones that you get in here, but everything in here still has that grungy underlying base to it but you have some beautiful berry tones which are great for the fall and I don't acknowledge that enough. For somebody who likes purple I need to get more into berry tones so we have some fun berries and mauves to play with down here. You also have those traditional Thanksgiving kind of warm colors. We have the tones of grunge up here which could also be great for that fall smoky eye. So I just think that this is a great palette to reach for this time of year no matter what kind of vibe I'm feeling, whether it be grunge, whether it be oranges, or whether it be those berry tones. And this is also a great base for whatever shimmers I might want to dig into. I like all matte palettes because they encourage me to dig into my individual shimmer drawers, you know, with my loose glitter shadows, those liquid shadows that I spent so much money on and never use. So it's great to have a matte palette to encourage me to actually use those. So I'm excited about this one. Moving on to the seventh palette. This is actually the palette that I am wearing on my eyes right now. And it's a brand, brand new palette. I did want to add something that was a really new, kind of a hot new fall palette that might be something that you're interested in looking in. And this is from Odin's Eye. This is a collaboration with Judy, and this is called the Red Dragon Palette. Like I said, it's what's on my eyes right now. Is this not a beautiful look? So in here, you have a lot of interesting 
interesting colors. I haven't quite seen colors like these paired together, but they work so well. And Odin's Eye has some of the best shimmers on the planet, like especially for their price. You can see all the dimension and glitter that's on my eyes and you have a gorgeous chartreuse shade which really turns the direction of this palette. You can see I put that chartreuse out here and then you have a lot of warm tones, really great quality. This palette is around $30 and I think that's a great price for the different formulations that you're getting. The mattes blend beautifully. If you want to see how I got this look, check out my most recent Odin's Eye review video and I show you how to get this look. It, is not as hard as it looks. I just think that this palette, when I opened it, it screamed fall to me. And I think this is one of the hottest new fall palettes that I can recommend to you if you are looking for some new palettes to pick up this fall. This is a palette that I actually use quite frequently. I want to use it this fall. This has the color stories that I'm into. It's not quite as grungy, but it's more of a smoky kind of fall palette. And it is from Pat McGrath. I did want to get one Pat McGrath palette in here. And this is the Bronze Seduction palette one of my all-time favorite Pat McGrath palettes but I never quite looked at it as a fall palette but as I was looking through my collection it really is a great fall palette this gorgeous plum is what screamed out to me that I want to use this for the fall and then next up was this cranberry color and I got a closer look and I mean it is called a bronze seduction palette those bronze tones are great for this time of year I spend a lot of money on this palette you spent a lot of money on this palette lay it out on your desk for you to use this fall I mean you can see mine needs used I bought a fresh one some time ago so that's why this looks so fresh but oh I'm looking at it it looks so fun to use and it can be really used for any season. I look at this, I see winter, I see summer, I see spring. Maybe not spring, but I definitely like see summer in here. Uh, regardless, this is a time of year to use this palette. The smokiness that it brings. Mm, mm, I want to use this more this summer. Why? It's not summer anymore. I want to use this more this fall. Okay, I did have another new one to share with you guys, but really it's a phenomenal phenomenal fall palette. So this is the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette. This also was just recently released. It's one of their holiday palettes, but this one you're going to get those orangey bronze tones mostly from. This palette is quite neutral. It's wearable. It's really pretty, but I think it's a great recommendation for the fall if you're looking for a new palette to pick up. When you open it, it has the scent of fall because you have that like cinnamon scent. It's so good. It's just, I'm going to try and use this a lot this season. And I find that when I buy these every year, I tend to actually grab for these palettes a lot. You know, while the quality isn't phenomenal and, you know, some of the shades can be inconsistent, for the most part, these are always solid enough palettes to keep me wanting more, to keep me coming back to it. And I just know not only is this a great fall palette that is new, I always reach for these regardless, so I might as well put it out with the other fall palettes that I want to use. Okay, last palette number 10 this came out this year earlier in the year and it was also from Too Faced I definitely did not expect to have two two Too Faced oh my gosh I definitely did not expect to have two Too Faced palettes in this video normally I try to stay away from double brands but this is one when I got it I definitely set aside in my mind that I would want it in this video it's so cute this is a Too Faced teddy bear palette did you guys see for the spring they are planning with coming out with another palette of this style, but I think this one is really great because of those berry tones that I've been trying to encourage myself to use more this time of year. There's also this gorgeous like mustardy brown right here, but for the most part when I see this, I think of the beautiful berry tones I can get with this, and who has encouraged me to dive more into berry tones is Emily Noel. She loves berry tones, she rocks berry tones, lipsticks, eyes, blush, all of the above, and she really loves this palette for the berry tones. So because of watching her, I've been wanting to pull this palette aside for fall. So this is one of the first palettes that I picked out for this video. It's great quality from Too Faced. It's a decent price. It's very, very small and travel friendly. And I'm excited to be using this one. I talk a lot of crap on Too Faced, but when they get it right, they really do get it right. And yeah, I mean, those are the top 10 palettes that I have for fall that I plan on using. As I stated before, I really do hope that this encourages you to dig back into your collection, pull out some palettes that you want to use this time of year, and if not, I hope that I could actually help you discover new fall palettes that you might want to dig into. 
to. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you to those of you who are subscribed to my channel and have taken the time to like this video. It really helps me out so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.